I literally have no choice as to whether or not I get to celebrate pride every day. I have to celebrate pride every day. I have to put on my shoes and I have to be brave and I have to be alive and I have to be excited for the day or else I won't make it. The second I realized I only need to judge myself and be judged by myself was the day I liberated myself. Even in this year, it is still not easy to be a queer person. Pride is one of those moments that you can see folks like yourself or imagine all that you can be. Pride is an opportunity to celebrate other queer and trans folks. It's about recharging ourselves. It's about being able to nourish our community. It means having people and places that help define who you are and help shape who you are and help protect who you are operating from the assumption that we all deserve to be exactly who we are. All of our various identities, marginalized or otherwise, just getting to show up um, um, with all of our complexities. We've come a long ways in the 50 years since the anniversary of the Stonewall Rebellion, but we also have a very long way to go, particularly for like, you know, trans people of color, whole segments of the LGBTQ population who, you know, live in poverty, who have to deal with various issues that I think that it's important to continue to raise during Pride. I think that there's such a strong queer community here that we can sometimes amazingly forget that we're on the margins. And that's, it's a really beautiful experience. The idea that queer people could be together and be strong and be open and be loving and be able to be affectionate in public, I think it's really important to have a time and a place uh, where we can come together and reinforce for one another that this is the world we want to make together. Internalizing the joy and the identity that you hold all day, every day. Not living in the shadows, but being you in your best form.